somebody call the doctor because bad medicine is back over there is diamond dave damone this is the appleton oak that's the answer i'm mason quinn folks today we are checking out an attack on titan ova this is the lost girls wall cinna goodbye part one wow that's mouthful but <laughs> look the show is awesome you guys know it is I, I can't we got so much information on the last ones we did i can't wait to see what this is that's a mouthful indeed i cannot wait to dive back into Whatever this is going to be, I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to get some more Attack on Titan. Give me all the AOT content. All of it! <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever this one's going to be about. So let's go! Dream sequence. Wow. Or flashback. Yeah, dream of an actual event. Yeah. Ooh, I like the animation. Oh. You'll try. Hmm. You can try. <laughs> Little does she know, Mason Quinn's not even gonna remember who oh, she shit, was. Oh shit, are we getting spoiled with season four music? 16.5A. No, that's not full intro music. No. That was short. Right to the point. Well, because right away they showed like the title card at the way beginning. I was, I didn't even think they would even do that for a mm. title card. Wow. What <laughs> ケンペイダンはどうだ長距離作的人形とやらを覚えるのが大変でな。俺もケンペイダンに入っとくんだった。エレンは別の班だから。じゃあ都合的につまんないって感じ。そう。あんたの知り合いならしょうがないか。そう
娘が何を考えているかわかる父親など、うん、昔を思い出すよ他に何か聞きたいことはあるかねいえ今のところは十分です何かわかればまた伺いますあんたは私が嘘をついていることがわかってるんだろうでもあんただって何かを隠しているすぐに出かける馬車を用意してくれ Prepare the carriage. There we go. Delete the evidence. Wall Maria de Sireta Shohingo. Wall Sina no Kori Gyosha ni Oroste. Wall Maria ga Kuasareta Kotode. Ohaba ni Jugio Shikshoshi. Basha ni Yoru Jokak no Yusogio no Mitar. Anta mo Shigoto Hiskerata no. O my Tashi to Isho ni Surna. Mokroku ga Naina te Kangai Rarena Karana. Thinkable. Thinkable. 手伝うどころか働きさえしていないそのことを気にも留めていない奇妙な親子だ十分奇妙か<笑>しかし全ては使命を果たすためだお前がこの世に生を受けた意味だ絶対服従その言葉しか存在しなかった、so mm -hmm. カーリーは父親の金で生活していた対等の存在のように話していたたとえ娘がどれだけ遊び歩こうが構いやせんマルロンん職務質問記録を大当たりカーリーは2年前に憲兵に保護されたこの娘に見覚えは知りませんね。Did you even look? It's like an episode of Law and Order.、Uh, oh, the old.、Uh, how about now? 知らないものは知りませんよ。喉が乾いただけ。Uh, some... I think so. She did it. She did it. As if. <laughs> パパに慰めてもらえんおおデューデおおなっちゅうはよそうやウェイトゴーエニーコーデロインだね違法薬物の所持をざけんじゃねえおデューデワンツンツンハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Sunny and Philly. Stay to Koto, Kikaseta Kretara. What does you and Nanimo Minaka to Botoni not know? Sir, so been to be the Kura Kimaga Yoktena, Toga Gure Maikana, Totsin Sigi Kimak de Okorida Stena, Kono Manukeno said, Kari no Maid. This idiot. Kari, what took me Nanimo Yonakata? We're always doing other drugs. <laughs> なんでカーリーのことを知らないと嘘をついたのカーリーは何かやべえことやってると思ったからだでもカーリーはたんまり金を持ってた、うん、どう考えてもやばい金なんだよありゃあんたはカーリーを逮捕するつもりだと思ったんだよ敵じゃねえやつがカーリーのことを嗅ぎ回ってたんだ Downright unsavory. 片方が義眼の男だカーリーがやってたやばいことというのはそれは知らねえ子供に売っていたという報告書を出す随分長くなるだろうねえ違う本当に知らねえんだ牢獄に向かう途中でだからもういじめないでやってもらえませんかねあんたも何か思い出したの本を読む邪魔をされたくなかっただけです彼女が何をやってたのか名前と住所はケンパーボルツ今の今まで知らなかったんだよなんだろう Oh, Popped it back. Popped it、yeah. right back into place. There we go. Normally, you gotta hit a button. Anto, what do you know? Cardi and Kempa. You don't know what you're talking about. That's who you always gotta talk to, right?、Mm -hmm. That's right. You talk to the bartender, or there's a couple other people you have to talk to, and they'll know everything. Wow. <laughs> hey, kitty. Oh, mittens over there. <laughs> なんの手がかりもなければもう終わりにしよう。カリは返したはずだ
お客さん着きましたよ戻るまで待っててもらえるここがどんな場所か知らないのかケンペイの巡回ルートから外された地区俺の答えもわかるだろいいねえな。はい。ケンパーボルツという男を知ってる。区内で許可なく火をたくことは禁止されてる。暑さで頭やられちまったのか。Uh, oh, 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 Right this way, actually. <laughs> oh boy. You know what I mean? oh. oh, that's never good. Not oh. good at all. There's a couple drinks on the table. Ah, look at that. Ah. Oh, that's a oh. lot. Coderoinka. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Is that. Carly? Oh, <laughs> of course. Right when it's about to open. Of course. And there is the, <laughs> the, that's the finish finish. Look, this was, ah. I mean, out, even if it wasn't a story about Annie and what she's up to,、uh, it's still pretty fascinating because. We're in a whole new part of the city that we've never even seen.、Uh, we learned that there's illegal drug trade. We didn't know about that. And there's places where even the,、uh, I guess you call them the, the, the police force or, or however, you know,、uh, there's spots that, that they don't even go into. So it's like a whole new kind of world we were dropped into. And again, to your point, Diamond Dave, it's crazy to think that Annie. Uh, was in a position to be able to kind of sneak around and be able to do all this behind the scenes.、Uh, now, granted, we don't know how everybody had to spend their time when they were training and, and everything else. But I mean, I just love it because it's a, it's a whole new world that we're, we're seeing、uh, from, of the city, of, this, of the Wall、uh, Cinna. So that's really cool. Now, how did Andy get roped into working for this guy? What was the favor? Uh, what, what else is she going to find other than、uh, a body underneath the bed?、Uh, this is, and it's only. I mean, him. It, yeah. It was, Kemper. Yep. Kemper.、Uh, and so, again, you know, 23 minutes, you know, it, it felt like it goes by in a snap. So I'm really curious to see where this story is going to go to because it's. It's interesting learning more about Annie now because you know, we had the big reveal. And as I said, I was like, oh, I completely forgot about her. Who is this? You know, no idea. And now we're going to get some backstory on her to learn more about the character. So it, it's an interesting <laughs> way to do it. And it's an interesting way to, to build up Annie's character. I hope that that's because,、uh, like you were saying, Diamond Dave, that this probably came after season three. So that would lead me to believe we're going to get a whole lot more. Annie in season four, and maybe that's why they're doing this to kind of help flush out her story a little bit as to the, the whys、uh, that she did the things that she did. So, hey, I, I'm here for it. This is、uh, really interesting. Again, it, it feels so different when it's just we're only kind of following one person around on a mission. We don't have our whole crew.、Uh, it feels very different, but yet it's still Attack on Titan. So it's a lot of fun. Well, we got this. It's nice to see Annie again in this, the, you know, the one, the day before everything goes down with her. So it's kind of interesting that she's going all detective on us right here, which is kind of interesting to see because we've only ever seen them, you know, strategizing and going against Titans. We never saw them do like actual like police work like she's doing, looking for Carly, talking to her dad,、mm -hmm. which I'm wondering what was in that sheet of paper that he then, yeah, burned. he burned. I mean, he didn't want to just. Throw it out so someone could catch it. No, he literally set it on fire. And who was that at the front door?、Uh, they were, they, it looked like they had like a, a button up shirt that was kind of baggy. So I'm wondering who that was, which is kind of interesting. And then、uh, we saw that, that、uh, she's、uh, in, the, in the business of,、uh, of dealing that we saw. That's how she was making her own cash on the、yeah. side. But, which is what he said, he, she went to school and went and had a chemistry major.、Yep. So, 
was she making those herself or was or were they buying it and supplying it or whatever like that so it'd be interesting they keep going more and when they yeah. got there remember there was two drinks so yep. with the person yeah. under the bed how long were there I mean, you looked at the drinks. I mean, you saw we saw the yeah. whole like chest full you of stuff. You wouldn't just stuff somebody there and leave them for like a week. Like, all right, let's have our drinks now. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just wondering that. And then who was that that was hiding at the end of the hallway as yep. well? So very good episode filled with, you know, instead of just like nonstop action again, some nice story and like detective work yeah. that we're actually watching. Like we joked a Law and Order episode and talks to the bartender, bartender, which it's funny that he did goes, Never you know. And, my business, you know, you hear everything and know a little about something about everyone. So this was pretty cool to actually see him do an actual police work instead of, you know, just fighting Titans, fighting Titans. But then we also got to see that Annie, even not in her uh, Titan form, is still a badass. And she just mopped the floor with those three guys at the bar and then anybody else that's come in contact with yeah, her. Yeah, the... The bartender should have been washing a, uh, a cup. Oh, that, that's my only complaint. Yeah, should that. have been washing the cup with the towel on his yeah, shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got, a, busy we've got a chemistry student <laughs> true. making uh, drugs that are blue. we got people getting taken out. Are we, are we watching Breaking Bad? Yeah. Or what are we? Breaking what, Annie. What are, we, what are we watching? Yeah. Say her name. You know, the, 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 you know, the last, I don't know, last half of the previous season, I mean, things were super intense but they kind of just left us hanging with the whole annie story so to revisit it here was was interesting but also revisit it like she's assigned a task the day before like a bunch of big stuff is going to start going down you'd think she would just kind of just just relax and go do whatever oh yeah I, I well looked. she tried right because you know. the description said she was trying to take a day off yeah. but her friend well that's what i'm saying is if she she's at least she's holding up her end of the bargain day with off. a friend I mean, that's yeah. what she could have just yeah i asked around uh not much um interesting uh an interesting episode though because of course you know we all kind of missed it that uh that annie was uh who she was but um you know so now we're getting all this backstory and not sure what direction it's going to go, but of course they gave us the to be continued, which they are so famous for. It's always at the perfect time, right? They always, they always get you. But um, yeah, um, I kind of agree with the answer. You know, gener generally speaking, in some shows, it's like when they give you just an information show, it, it feels like filler, you know. But none of the shows that are just information or, or plot based that that scale back on the action have ever felt like fillers. In this particular um, series, so I'm just wondering what happens next. Yeah, I'm curious. Uh, that was a great cliffhanger that they did right here, because I was kind of curious. Like, all right, are they going to end it seeing Kemper here under the bed? I'm assuming that's who that was. Um, but now, who did we see at the corner? Because mm -hmm. yeah, clearly not Kemper, if you ask yeah. me. Because I, we did read the description for the other one. <clears throat> made it look, made it sound like this is Kemper for sure. So now, who was that at the corner? Is that the na? I'm assuming that's just the the annoying neighbor that yeah, keeps yelling through the through the currently. walls. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to wrap up, especially with everything that's going on with Annie here, about with the especially her her flashbacks that she's experiencing. Obviously, she's obviously she's carrying some guilt mm -hmm. for what happened because even when we did see that, her face was like. Are we, why are we doing this? Kind of, are we doing this? But she stayed committed because that's the way she rolls. So, um, and we saw how clearly badass she was during the trainings early in season one. Yep. So to actually see it here in full effect on regular Joe's, <laughs> it's actually pretty yeah. cool to see. Um, with the, yeah, like the dad, man, he, he seemed like he didn't. No shit. Yeah. He's like, do, oh, I, do I, I even have I just daughter? want my daughter. Yeah, it's like, oh, she's but missing? Oh, sounds well. like, sounds oh, well. like nobody's looking. At least that's the impression yeah. I got yeah. from that conversation. I mean, you know what? You know what? two dinners. Well, Missed you know what? In, in hindsight, maybe he knew a lot more about what she was doing. And mm. he almost like, hey, she she's missing. Want he doesn't want to incriminate her. And it's okay. it hasn't, given that what her activities were, it hasn't come as much of a surprise to her that she is missing. Almost like, hey, my daughter's missing. I had to report it. Can uh, can we get somebody on this? Can we can we get Meow. somebody on this? Yeah. But he's not really surprised because I think it's of mad that he gets someone that's on the job for a month. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay, well, yeah, well just, and, just look for her. And those guys in the bar, they were saying that her dad's broke and she's the one with all the money, which was interesting, yeah. given yeah. the way that he was being portrayed. The big room with all yeah. the fancy liquor so, bottles. And well, she could butler. be portraying that, telling the lies to kind of get in, make sure that yeah. everyone's friends, oh, right? I'll say that, yeah. too. That's true. Which clearly, I mean, he's not, at least in that scenario or in that scene he didn't look like he doesn't was, look it does it no. he didn't have he any had, money lost. he had four or five <laughs> drinks there during that well, meeting well so. yeah especially when if she says that to them yeah yeah becomes more acquainted with them because they're like they did protect her they weren't saying anything about her until yeah. the one the one dude that almost looked like a titan himself got his arm taken care yeah, of yeah I mean, pretty Annie much was or uh annie carly was definitely spreading the money around down in the uh the not so nice part of town you buying know buying drinks. everybody drinks buying them or getting them drugs in, in some way so uh yeah a lot more to this story for sure yeah. looking forward to part two yeah this is this is really fun and a great interesting look at the day before the huge you know problematic that annie causes uh, but still fun to see more of annie in action so for diamond dave appleton oak that's me and quinn i'm of course answer we'll catch you on the next one pals Here we go. Ah! Have to end yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, jeez, what a threat. Well, little do you know, he already is. Hmm. Under the bed. The joke's on you, pal. Mother, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Must have just happened and then stuffed him under the bed. Yeah, and so then the drinks could be still maybe. Uh, the description totally spoiled us. Yeah. No easy choices. Mm -mm. そうすれば私はここに来なかったことになる。特命で憲法の死を通報する。この道しかない。Boom. Oh, the the violin on there. Ani yatteru ani. Asuna, kiite iru no ga. Ani. Oh, Jesus. That's what you get sneaking up on Annie like that. Oh, oh, Whoa. oh, 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 Tosan no Ashiva mo moto ni wa modoran to mo koto da. Whoa, well, it's your little Frankenstein monster attacked you. Yoku yatta na ni, omae wa motto tsuyoku nareru. Damn, that's what he made her. Mm, I guess. Yatta nete kureta ka.何者かが憲法を殺し、カーリーを連れ去ったのか。目的はカーリーではなく、コデロイン。たとえヒッチでも10分で見つけられる場所にある。うん、オッケー。どうやってあれだけの量を仕入れた。待たせてね。ああ。
Ore ni da. Oh, is he gonna find the trick? Oh, sure did. Doku de mo shikonde aru no kana. Ah, iya. Yame toko. Oh, that was so close. Hmm. Waza waza chouhatsu na do shinai. Sanna chouhatsu ni noru manuke da to omotta no ga. Ah. Oh. Oh. Get him. Nice. Here we go. Oh. Manuke da ne. Is it gonna happen? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, right you. in the carriage. <laughs> How funny is it we're cheering for Annie now? I know. Well, yeah. It's great. I mean, given the circumstances. Oh, just an arm. Yeah. She did just an arm. Well, that's all she needed. Just enough to get out of the situation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good luck, dude. You just oh. didn't see what I just did? <laughs> Oh! Can't believe he made it. Yeah, they're This dude. Well, who took him out then? I think he just took out the driver, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. well. うん。娘を探してくれって、ストラットマンに雇われた。剣牌に行き着き締め上げた。カーリーの居場所と秘密、どちらも教えるから、ある仕事を手伝ってくれと。娘の秘密を出しにストラットマンを譲り、あとは本
ケンパーの家の灰皿にこれが。あ、there it is。もし憲兵団が本格的に捜査を始めれば。最初から娘を返す気などなかったんだ。タバコを吸うのにやめてもらえませんか。<笑>何をそんなに苛立っとるんだね。苛立ってなんかいません。留置場では吸わせてもらうよ。留置場へは行きません。これは自分のためです。なさなければならないことは何があろうと。なさなければならないことは何があってもなさなければならない。ダッチチのオーバーツのカーリー・ストラットマンは恋人のケンパー・ボルツとオートへ向かったことが判明した。検問の際には。偽名を使用したと思われる二人がどのような偽名を使用したのかはいずれも不明でありそれより男に会うならこれくらいしてった方がいいんじゃないのあんたの色気のなさは絶望的よ<笑><笑>今さら許してくれては言わない一つだけ頼みがあるこの世のすべてからお前が恨まれることになっても父さんだけはお前の味方だ帰ってくるってふん<笑>第57回壁外調査にてエレン・イエーガーの捕獲。ああ、That's her ticket home。Hey, there's no to be continued yet. That's right. Well, it is an OVA, so it's probably ended right here. That was her going. Yep. Wow. But I'm. Yeah. I'm glad we watched these two on her. Yeah. Who's the、yeah. doing this with the Titans? Yes.、Yeah. Well, that's, you know, and that's what I found the most interesting about these last two episodes of these OVAs that we did is, you know, there wasn't like, I mean, there wasn't really like an oh my gosh moment. Can you believe that、mm -hmm. sort of thing? It was more, we just were able to be in the world of Attack on Titan, but not have to necessarily have this constant fear of attack and, and you, you know, Who's going to get taken out and when are the Titans going to attack and, and who's coming after him? What's going to happen with Aaron? It was, I almost wish that、uh, now Diamond Dave's going to be upset at me for this, but I almost wish we could have more of these bottle episodes if I could, where we get to see other people doing things that aren't necessarily related to the main story just because it brings you more into the world that they're in. Now, granted, because of where we are in the story, we kind of know the overall picture of everything that happened and, and how this place came to be. But like, I just really enjoyed this episode because it was. It was Annie. It was one of our characters. It was in the world of Attack on Titan, but it was something different that was happening. And it was just, it was just such a fascinating story of, you know, kind of some cat and mouse detective stuff. And it was just, I don't know if it was a nice break or if just something different or just getting to see a, a character that we know doing something different. It was just very refreshing to me. And I, I hope there's more of these where they kind of divert a little bit from the main story,、uh, just because they're just so much fun. To be in this world, but yet not barreling headlong into the main story where you feel like you can't even stop to take a breath. I felt like this one, you could just kind of stop and enjoy everything a little bit. So,、uh, again, kudos to letting us know that these were out there, and I hope there's more of them for us to check out. Yeah, this was fun seeing old Detective Annie going through the, the mill of things and then, you know, figuring it all out, even if. I mean, I had no idea what was going on, but then she figured out that, you know, the dad was there, found the cigarette, you know, found that the body was still warm. So it happened recently. You know, I was wondering who that was that she saw through the window, like drop off whatever note that the butler then handed to him. Well, it turns out, you know, that was、uh, Kemper that ended up,、uh, you know, gone. And then, you know, they got rid of him and threw him <laughs> into the, way, the waste、uh, collector at the, at the end there because she said, you know, when you want, if you have to get something done, you always have to get it done、uh, no matter what. And like, oh,、so、we saw that that's what her dad taught her. And then, like, There was even a time where she got filled so much with anger, she took out his leg and he came back and he's like, You know, the doctor said, My leg is never going to be the normal again, but 
you did good. Mm -hmm. You did good. It was like he wasn't even mad about that because it's like that's just what he was training Andy to do. Now, when he was sitting there apologizing, did it look like in the forefront there was like a small titan or something right there? Yeah, I, I didn't catch that. I was gotcha. trying to figure out who Dad was. That's kind of what well, I'm Well, because wondering. he was hugging her, and uh, Dave, Diamond Dave is bringing it up right now, but when they're – Hugging it. I love how, like, we figured out too that Carly was the one making everything. Yeah, which because, makes sense. She mm -hmm. was a chemist. And yeah, they made a point to tell us that she was a chemistry major. Yeah, when she has the memory of, of her dad. Yeah, that's when, yeah, she was. So, like, yeah, right about there. So, like, they were hugging and embracing. Well, anyways, if you, if we don't get it before the end, let me know if you saw that too. Cause I swore I thought I saw a little, like, Titan, like, crouching. Mm. as uh as they were embracing during that part as she's in the shower and everything so i'm just wondering if that was something where she then started her journey of because see yeah, right, right there, there becoming a titan so we just we call. just pulled it up because i saw that and i was like does that mean like he sacrificed her to become a titan or something so what does all that mean too because that really like because he's asking for forgiveness and everything so i'm wondering what that all entails yeah, it's like did so, he give her the power to become he, a titan yeah did he give her the power did he you know how did this all come about because i mean he trained her from a young age and then to get here and we see like yeah there he is embracing her outside the house and there's something inside yeah, there I, I mean i think you're right answer i think there's more to his regrets than just training her to be a fighting machine and i, I think she was given and i something think else. when they zoom out to it, i think you can see it more like after this but yeah that's what i kind of took away from like what was all this training and everything for and that he then has forgiveness at the end was there something more to it so really fun to, really good episode and she even still ends it that she's got to go catch Aaron, Aaron and she's yes. running so this, these have been a lot of fun yep. yeah I'm gonna kind of mirror these guys sentiments I mean it's um and I said this uh, you know after the previous episode that sometimes with series um you know there'll be a lull in action and it feels like filler content and you're kind of like okay like can we continue with the good stuff but the, the the I think what it comes down to is the writing. I think from the first episode all the way up to where we're at right now, the writing for every single episode has been phenomenal. And when you when you get to a point where you're three seasons in and every single episode has just been that good, you get to like this place. I don't want to. I don't know if it's right to say like a level of confidence with the writing, but you just get to this place where like you're excited for everything because there's never any question as to whether it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. You just know it's going to be good, whether there's action or not action. I mean, some of the best episodes we had is just information dumps where there's no action <laughs> and we're sitting here, one you know, in particular, getting, getting our faces uh -huh. melted off. I mean, with information dumps, and you know, this was kind of like this, you know. The, the detective whodunit type story with a couple of interesting twists that she was the one doing it and uh, the dad was the big boss and she decided to leave. She didn't want it in her hometown, um, you know, and then, of course, Annie dumps the body into the pit because she's, got her, own, do. she's got her own agenda that she's uh, that she's working with. So, uh, again, you know, very little action. I mean, other than, you know, the turning into a titan and, uh, you know, that little scene that we had there. But just such incredible writing, cool stories, and, you know, what if they did one of these with all of our main characters? It's kind of like, I know it's not a full, like, origin story, but, you know, when we've seen this with other franchises where you're given the meat and potatoes, and then they're like, we're going to give you background information, and you're like, okay, this is, this is still really cool, even though it's not necessarily, you know, a linear continuation of the story that's being told. It's just more information in a universe where you're completely just sucked into every bit of content you can get. And I think that's how we all are with Attack on Titan. So, look, these, you know, these OVAs, um, regardless of whether, you know, we need to watch them to understand what's going on with the story, it's like, oh, wait, there's more. It's the same people that did everything else. Yep. Okay. Count me in. You know, yeah. I would have a hard time being like, yeah, oh, you know what? I'm going to pass on the OVAs. I don't think I need these. I we don't wanna, need any more I wanna, AOT I content. Enjoy any more content. We had, to answer your question, Quinn, there's only a couple OVAs left. And I'm okay. throwing that out there, but okay, uh, a handful. There's only a couple left uh, that we see on. Crunchy roll. So if I'm really wrong on that, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I'm glad we are doing the two for at least Annie here. I know there's one Lost Girls episode left, which it looks like, and I, 
Of course, read the description again, which the description on the last one actually did tell us about. Uh, they Kemper. literally said Kemper. Yeah. The body. After yeah. discovering Kemper's body, you're yeah. like, oh, uh, come on, guys. So, yeah. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, right? But true. Either way. In the grand scheme um, of things. Here, uh, it looks like this Lost Girls episode is fe uh, definitely featured with Mikasa. So uh, it'll be interesting to see exactly what goes on with that one. We're going to do it. So yeah. Um, either way, <laughs> the, these two, it, yeah, the two episodes that focused on one entire day for Annie here, just before the yeah. whole situation uh -huh. with Aaron happens, is kind of crazy. It's a heck of a day. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm glad uh, they picked Annie for this situation because then not only were we getting the day before in her journey, we're also getting just a tiny little bit of insight to her backstory with her father which is actually pretty interesting too and then good catch answer on that because i would my mm -hmm. my focus was not on that i was focused on just those two mm -hmm. yep. so if they're like Ange was saying if there's any information you can give us that's not a spoiler yeah hopefully <laughs> if um, otherwise if we'll just wait and see yeah not. <laughs> so otherwise yeah we'll just if you, yeah tell us uh just basically wait and see i think that's uh uh that way you can avoid any spoiler and then we'll just wait and see but otherwise, enjoy these OVAs so far of Annie. Like I said, we'll get to the Lost Girls with Mikasa as well. Oh, yeah. So, I'm so don't worry. Don't back. worry. I just, I just enjoy the little backstory. Because right. I know you yeah. mentioned the uh, bottle episode. It's, it's not the Walking Dead style of bo bottle episode. It's not at Tara least. wandering around the woods yeah, for 90 the, minutes? Yeah, I was just going to say. As what? As not the that sounds like a of hell of an episode. <laughs> well, the thing I like, the, <laughs> the thing I like is all, that <laughs> uh, when Annie was revealed to be the Titan, for me, for me, for me, it was such a big shock because I'd completely forgotten about her. And because she wasn't really a main character at that point so that's we're like well who is this and now they give us a little bit more backstory on annie so when the time comes when we catch back up to her i assume uh we'll feel a little bit different about her character and everything i think that's kind of cool how it's going to work out for us yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and these have been uh, great episodes. Hopefully, you've enjoyed them as much as we have. So, for Diamond Dave, Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, Answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. Oh, music. music. Oh! <laughs> that's effective. <laughs> I like We're going back uh, a little bit. Always, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're sending them out after, yeah. ウォルマリアを取り戻して、また戻れるの。戻すんだよ。もう全部は帰ってこねえ。付けを払ってもらわねえとな。その後、エレンはどうするんだろう。どこか遠くへ行ってしまうのかもしれない。He <笑> They're chasing by oh. 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 <laughs> Everybody's got to have a tasty lunch. What a buzzkill. <laughs> they want a warm meal. What a buzzkill. Everybody's a buzzkill. Everybody's Oh, oh, we're going right. back oh. yeah, to that scene with Aaron and Mikasa. Oh, still pissed. No, no. Yeah. Intrusion? Pardon our intrusion? Uh, here we go. Yep, there it was. Oh, is this... That's when Aaron gets eaten. Yep. Yeah. Assuming so. What a shock that was in, what, episode uh, five? Like, oh, <laughs> guess he's not the main character. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we were wrong. They sure built it up to have it seem like he was going to be somebody important. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's the Titan. Oh, yeah, it's the Titan. Oh, yeah, it's the Titan. You know, she did have that crazy power in the cabin. So, you can't stop Eren's power. Why is Eren? Oh, yeah. What? The praying, let it change. Change the past. What the hell? Okay. Oh, so now it's. Yeah, Mikasa. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Did she literally change the history? 
Well, she might be imagining it too, mm. just differently. <laughs> just made me think that Aaron's been the yeah. same way his entire life. Yeah. Well, and they said make a different reality. Yeah, so maybe this is just her reality playing we saw through. Her. I don't think she physically changed it. I oh. think she's just imagining Look it. Look at that number, <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Nice. Become the goat, that's what she's gonna do, pretty much. Whoa. Oh, yeah. what the f Didn't we see this? I don't remember seeing this. Yeah, I can't remember. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, get to some high ground. What nice. are, what are we seeing out of Mikasa? I honestly think it's just a reimagination of her changing things in her mind a little bit telekinetic powers <laughs> oh that's the guys who were in the earlier vision yeah and the butterfly on the head yeah. <laughs> <laughs> あるみんのことを話してくれた。たくさん本を読むからいろんなことを知ってる。子供がどうやってできるかも知ってるから。そう。そんなの俺でも知ってるぞ。真夜中に大きな鳥が赤ん坊を運んできた。外の世界のことを
その時返せよ。Interesting. So a different way of how she got the scarf. 金が3回鳴ったら出発するからな。さあさあ皆様お立ち会いかの巧妙なる鏡男がおい、What? この純粋無垢で痛いけな少女を見事、oh. What? 私の顔見てごらん<笑>お嬢ちゃんはどこへ行くつもりだい<笑>会いに行くんですなるほどお友達を待たせちゃいけないよだが<笑>私としてはハイジーズ。今すぐ私を殺すというのは私を殺させることもできるが。Yeah, what is his end game here? 誰か、hey, creep, how about you let her go? Well, nobody sees this guy. お友達は君を置いていってしまう。おじさんは誰なの私は誰でもない。催眠術師は何でもよく知っている。君は。自ら望んでここにエレンの死を受け入れることができずあ,あなたにはエレンの死を止めることができないその体の中に死を抱え込んでいるからだ確かめに行くといい私を殺してからだエレンと一緒にいたいだけなのに仕方ないでしょう世界は残酷なんだからだったらこんな世界 Oh here we go Oh boy <笑> Undertaker. Don't I tell a game of stuck up? Oh, Kagami or Togo and Mingo, or a Kanatari. Yaibaga, come you only dex the other notice. Chosen the more Goka Shigatai Jiritsu de Arimaso, Kagami or Togo, the way they go. I must. This has been an interesting episode so far. Very, very interesting. Nope. That spot. <laughs> so, no matter how much she tries to replay it, yeah, Aaron always saves Armin. Dream sequence. Yes. Ah, <sighs> perfect. Now we get an insight of that moment mm -hmm. in that episode of where her head was going. Family. Huh. That was she, gonna, she gonna was... tell him how she feels? <laughs> that was pretty close. I mean, still for being 15, 16, they're going through so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's like hey, that's... you know, that was pretty cool to see where yeah. she, her head was in that moment in time. Yeah, because at first, uh, it kind of threw me for a loop. I was like, are we going into some different powers that Mikasa has? Because we still haven't addressed yeah. what she was able to do in the cabin when they were kids. Uh, she kind of had that moment. And at first, I'm like, is she like changing history and time? But it turns out she was, at least the way I took it, as she was imagining what could have been in that moment she had when they were in that battle. Uh, and it seemed that no matter what uh, different... Uh, no matter what different line she took, everything ended up pretty much the same way with you know, with Aaron and, and company. So I, I found it really interesting. It kind of plays into the whole idea of, you know, if I would have just changed one thing when I was younger or done something different. And obviously Mikasa changed a few things here uh, that we saw the big moment in the cabin with uh, her and Aaron and the villains that uh, didn't happen. She changed that up that and, and something still <laughs> uh, terrible potentially was going to happen to her mother. So this was a very, very cool episode. Again, I, I just like exploring more of the world of, uh, of attack on Titan and all the different things that we can kind of see when we're not running for our lives from the Titans or, or from some villain chasing after us or some mm -hmm. dire situation. So it's uh, definitely interesting. I really like to learn a little bit more about Mikasa and 
just tell Aaron how you feel, right? Oh, I mean, you never want to leave his side. So, I mean, just let the guy know how you feel. Now, granted, there are, you know, their ages, I think, you know, 14, 15, something like that, maybe even younger. But, uh, yeah, this was I'm really. 16, 17. Yeah, yeah. So this was really Somewhere cool. Around. I like how, you know, what she was going through and then kind of, you know, the mirror man was, just, I, I took it as that was her her older, older self talking to her and telling her, you know, this is what you're going to become. This is who you are. Because when we were going through the, the dream sequence, it was a very different Mikasa than what we saw originally. I mean, even to the way she was dressed was different uh, from what I remember. So again, a really, really cool episode of what could have been, but some things end up the way that yeah. they're destined to regardless. And sometimes you can't change it. So definitely two ways to look at things, right? I mean, one way to look at it is hey some things are our fate and they're going to happen mm -hmm. regardless now a lot of that could be because Aaron is who he is and Aaron's going to do what Aaron's going to do and she can't really change that regardless of how many things in her past she would change now granted you can obviously change yourself by making different situation uh different choices in situations i think that goes uh you know with, without needing to be said but yeah a really a really fun episode uh a little bit of a of a head scratcher at first but once we got into it man it was all good yeah we saw that even though she changed the past it's the same old aaron that you know the headstrong aaron that doesn't care he's gonna do what he wants to do but will save anybody else and put that take them out of harm's way if he even if he has to take the brunt of it i mean so like even in the retelling it was this time you know i tossed armin out of the hot air balloon as it crashed into the wall so it still took out aaron but it saved armin just like in real life where just like pulled you know, armin out of yep, the titan where he pulled yep. pulled armin out of the titan and you know risked his life and then suffer the consequences Fortunately, we saw that he turned into a titan, so it was all good in that. But then also with Mikasa, it's cool that no matter how much of a badass you are, because we've seen it in superhero movies and stuff like that, you can do all this extraordinary things. You can take out titans left and right. But what's the biggest fear? Telling the one closest to you that you love them so much. It's it, that's we've seen it in every like you know superhero movie, every right, even movie like even. Like the teen movies where the the hot guy just can't tell the girl that he that he that he really likes her, you know, and stuff like that. So that was cool that on this side it's you know, Mikasa, you know, even though she cha flipped the script on her whole upbringing and everything, it's she still couldn't tell Aaron, and Aaron still was headstrong. So that was still a, a fun part of the episode. And yeah, the Mirror Man, you know, I second that 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 was yeah, that was her older self that. You know, like you said, I'm gonna hypnotize her and turn her into a murder wall. Didn't matter what you're doing or what you're trying to go, this is this is your destiny type thing. Yeah. And you know, she's she's good at what she does, that's for <laughs> sure. But yeah, this was this was a yeah, this, <laughs> this was a really fun episode of watching to get the, and it, to show you that, you know, yeah, you change some things up and it's still gonna end the same. Yeah, this one provides a pretty interesting character arc for Mikasa because, you know, when we see her, you know, in the show, obviously, fast forward, she's just like a straight, like, badass, like, you know, <laughs> um, you know, doesn't take any shit, goes out and gets what she wants, a very decisive person as far as her actions and the things she says and does, and she seemed a lot more timid here um, for, uh, for the most part. Um, you know, I was a little kind of taken back by the I wasn't a hundred percent sure you know what the the message of changing things was I mean but some pretty drastic changes I mean you know parents not being taken out uh killer dogs turning around walking away I mean um of course the the, the butterfly and uh looked like a kind of looked like a praying mantis um but uh in any regard just a different side of Mikasa we saw a side of Mikasa that's very um I want to say enamored with uh, with Aaron, you know, um, keeps talking about how he wants to go outside the wall and he wants to join the scout regiment and he wants to do all these things. And um, it doesn't seem like something that she was particularly interested or gung ho about doing at the time. Not after that parade. Uh, <laughs> right. It's coming oh. back. Yeah. And, you oh. know, and that, that, that parade scene, I'm glad you brought that up. That was really powerful because you get like this, oh, we're going to go on adventures and we're going to see the world and we're going to do, oh, that's what it's about, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And then of course they give the mom the arm. I was like, oh, what? But uh, yeah, this was definitely just another really interesting piece of content and it provides, um, I think very meaningful backstory for one of our main characters that of course, as you watch this show, you really grow to love. 
So um, I agree with these guys. These OVAs are really good. Love the backstory it provides. And, you know, when you move forward and, and watch all the other episodes, you know, you kind of reference back to, okay, oh, that's so cool to see this because in the past there was there was this. So uh, I'm wondering if there's, you know, other, you know, things that, uh, that, you know, had we seen this before, you know, we went through, we would have caught or, you know, things that we're going to catch now moving forward because we saw this. So, but a lot of, a lot of really good uh, information in all these OVAs. Yeah, I enjoyed this one. Getting to see a moment in time of that spot where Mikasa, uh, her head space was at. Just kind of going through a couple things, right? <clears throat> her, her. This kind of reminded me of like Tales, Walking Dead a little yeah. bit, uh, or almost like a, a what if. Which okay. You guys will see it, so I'm not going to dive into that. But <clears throat> with that, it was kind of cool to see her change one moment parents stay then it looks like you know potentially having a brother i believe that's well a baby brother or sister i can't remember but so that was kind of cool to see then you know the journey of her and aaron uh as kids and that process of you know her imagining the scouts was just you know dismantled yep didn't even need them didn't need them and then armin and aaron we're building a hot air balloon. We're going to the sea. Just like fear. Yeah, just like fear the walking dead. But these characters, I believe, could do it. So yeah. that's the one difference. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, yeah, I'm a pretty interesting OVA here with uh, Mikasa. So I I wish there was more kind of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when, I wish there was actually one in Armin now, kind of yeah. whether yeah. it be in a moment or, you know, a backstory. Um, even, you know, Connie, because we saw... And, you know, his mom is a Titan. Well, yep. And he's fearing his whole family is, too. Yep, and it's probably the case, And right? it's probably, yeah. And, so, and what about him? Does he have the ability? Well, that yeah. was depending Not on... yet. Yeah. Well, depending on the that injections. Yeah. So, uh, clearly he didn't, because right now he's still there, so he, yeah. there was no injections on him. And if I'm speaking wrong, let me know. But um, with the... Yeah, I think there's one more OVA. Let me know if there's one more OVA uh, that we need to see. And I'll also check the uh, list that you all sent over too. So, <clears throat> but Yeah, because that was interesting because, you know, you saw the timer on this and it was like 23 and some odd minutes and we were getting about halfway, three quarters through it. And I'm like, all right, how are we going to wrap this up in five minutes that's left of the show? So it was real interesting. And then they did kind of speed things up a little bit and – kind of brought us up to speed with what was going on if you didn't you know kind of figure yeah, it out which I'm already glad they did because when the when it wasn't the intruders at the door and it got she did the switch in her mind yeah you know, i was like okay this is definitely reimagination but then they've like really stamped and made it obvious for me at least yeah. like hey this is a whole thing in mikasa's head so just well and that's be. and that's the thing about this show is that you know we're as far into it as we are and we can still be surprised and mm -hmm. have questions and not be completely sure about what we're seeing uh you know questioning powers that other people might have because i mean i i feel like anything is on the table at this point given what we've seen how the the script has been flipped the way it has uh it's like anything is possible at this point so i it's, it's just like can she change time off? Maybe. Well, Why not? Be, yeah, that would be great. But that you know, wasn't the case. Well, and then I love, though, that she's like, you know, Aaron's going to achieve great things. So, like, she really believes in Aaron. And then she's like, but I'm going to be right there by his side. So that was great to see, just too. Kinda, mm -hmm. Tell him how you feel. Just just, just his three simple words. I but then it might complicate it. things. Maybe Aaron's head will be she, in the game. Well, in the vision, know. she made a doll for him. That was exactly him. So I don't know. And But I did like, too, that they did have a moment where she got the scar again from yeah. them so that was that was really cool and cute yeah. you could one could say so this was really fun hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did so for diamond dave appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer we'll catch you on the next one pals